Alina, how are you? Good. Where are you? Uh, in Siena, in the center of the city. Um, this area is where they have the horse races twice a year, right? Uh-huh. Do you know what the horse races are called? It starts with a G, right? No, unfortunately, it's called Il Palio. Oh. Il Palio. And the horses run around the piazza three times. And, it's and it doesn't matter if the rider the, falls off. We avoided the downpour so far. And it doesn't matter if the rider falls off, as long as the horse yes. makes it. God. Yes, the horse has to finish. 35,000 people cram into the square to watch the Palio twice a year. It's a big event. Yeah. We're in the Duomo of Siena. Okay, so we're in the Duomo of Siena. It's a very strange Duomo that's striped on the columns. What else is great about this Duomo? Um, it's not raining inside? Oh yeah, it isn't raining inside. Mm -hmm. And it's nice and warm in here. It's freezing outside. Yeah. Yes. Okay, uh, I just want to introduce to you how the Italians uh, uh, were at the forefront of uh, child, uh, par uh, child discipline back in the day. If your child misbehaved, they actually put these rings in the walls so you could hang them hang them by their toes, and uh, come back after a nice cappuccino uh, to see if they were still breathing. Yeah, or you could tie up your horse there or decorate for the palio, one of the other. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, I guess I could do that too. But I like the parenting story much better. As you can tell, historian, real historian. So I, I like my stories. I think they're more entertaining and they have more of a twist. I think what you mean is storyteller and historian. Ah, oh, that's right. Okay. Anyway, I think this is a good idea and I think we should start implementing this in the United States. Great. Dave Barry said, once said, the medieval stairs are the death of Americans. However, these are medieval stairs because they give you way too many steps in between each step. Medieval stairs is when you're just dealing with the, with the ball of your foot. This was actually made for Americans. Except there's no gelateria midway up. Ah, that's true. No Starbucks halfway <laughs> up. Climb on. Arrivederci. Ciao. Church and inside the St. Catherine's Church is St. Catherine's Head and Finger. Why? Because, uh, I don't know, Sienna won it from a war. Rome wanted her head, and so they got her head and her finger. All right, Baya, tell us about St. Catherine. St. Catherine lived here and helped orphans and helped people who are sick. Yes. What else about St. Catherine? Do you remember why she's so important? She's important because. She was a saint. She was a saint. What did she do with the Pope? Do you remember? She wrote, the Pope went to France and made the king so powerful that people from Italy told them to come. She, she wrote the Pope letters and then he came back. Came back to Italy, right? Back to Rome. Good job, Baya. That is a good lesson on St. Catherine. Thanks. Well, uh, we are. Stand up with your right 
at, almost at the end of our day here in uh, Siena and uh, it was a really nice day. It's a really special place. I really like it here. This is a place that I can live. You know, like when all the tourists go home, you just have your own little apartment in a little medieval town. No traffic, no cars, nothing. Just you, your wife, your four kids. Your chaos. <sighs> Yeah, we love you too, babe. I love you too. No, it's great. It was a wonderful day.